Hello viewers, in this video I will explain you how we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram by using the equation method when UVL is acting on the beam. These are the my reactions that I have found out. You can watch my another video how we can find out the reaction. The in description I have given the link for that video. For finding, for making the equation for the shear force and bending moments what I will do I will cut the beam from here and take this distance as a x the shear force and the moment are act at the at that phase which we have cut over here and take these directions as they are if we cut it from here and take the left side then we will take these directions opposite so now I will take these directions as they are because I am taking the right side and now I will take the shear forces equation sum of all vertical forces equal to zero the force which is acting upward taken as positive the force which is acting downward taken as negative V is acting upward over here only for this region I will apply the equation over here the V is acting upward taken as positive the 2x in divided by y this is the uvl acting downward taken as negative x into y divided by 2 because this uvl area is actually the force acting downward and this 16.67 is the reaction over here acting upward these three forces are acting at this phase which we have cut this v1 this uvl downward and 16.67 upward their sum equal to zero now how we will we will find out this y we can find out this y by the slope method how if the slope method is this five value total and this total span is 20 dividing five by 20 is equal to this value will give us slope value is equal to y divided by x this is how we can find out y is equal to 5x divided by 20. This 5 divided by 20 over here must be equal to y divided by x over here. So this is y is equal to this one and put this y in this equation I will get this equation. Arranging this equation this is my shear force equation for this uvl throughout the span the one equation will exist for shear force this is my equation how we will draw the shear force diagram by using this equation i will put simply x is equal to 0 at that point and get the v1 is equal to this value this and i will put the x is equal to 5 somewhat over here and i will get the shear value at x is equal to 5 somewhat over here somewhere over here and this is my x is equal to 5 the shear value at that point and i will put the x is equal to 10 and get the shear value at x is equal to 10 this is my shear value at x is equal to 10 at midpoint and then i will put the x is equal to 20 over here what is the shear value it will be 33 positive and this is my shear force diagram for this uvl active over the beam so this is how you can draw the shear force diagram by using this equation by putting simply uh, different distances of x and you will draw the shear force diagram now the question is arises that find this point where the find point where the shear force is zero shear force is zero at that point i will find out this point because this point is uh, we need we will need this point in further this question can also be arises in the question paper or anywhere you can need this i will simply put shear is equal to zero in this equation and i will find out x distance is equal to 11.5 and this is my x distance where shear is equal to zero and this is my equation for the shear 
for this UVL and now I will make the equation for bending moment. For bending moment, take the moment about point P1. This is my point P1. I will take the moment about that point and take counterclockwise moment as positive and clockwise moment as a negative. This is my M is clockwise moment about point P. So taken as negative. And this 16.67 is the force, reaction force acting upward multiplied by X. X is the moment arm about point A for this force and taken as positive because this force create the counterclockwise moment about point P this point and then the UVL here the UVL force is XY divided by 2 and multiplied by X by 3 is the moment arm of this UVL about point P this is also taken as negative because this create this clockwise moment like this clockwise moment about point P so taken as negative its sum is equal to 0 now how we will find out the y we will find out the y by same method as we have find out previously by slope method and this is my moment equation for this UVL Using this moment equation, we will draw the bending moment diagram by same method. Putting x is equal to 0, we will get moment at that point. Putting x is equal to 5, we will get moment at distance 5. Putting x is equal to 10, we will get moment value at distance of 10. And here, here we need this distance where the shear force is 0. This is the distance where shear force is 0 at that point there will be maximum moment so that is why we need the point where the shear force zero i have said you earlier the 128.34 is the maximum moment for this beam when the uvl is acting over here of this value okay then put x is equal to 20 i will get this moment over here at the roller and pin moment must be zero this is my the BMD diagram I can draw by this method using this equation. This is my SFD diagram by using this equation I have drawn and this is my BMD diagram I have drawn using this equation for this type of UVL acting over 20 feet span. And this is my another type of beam for different loadings. Here the only one type of loading was acting over the beam so I have taken only one equation for the SFD and one equation for the BMD for drawing them and now here the three regions are over here because the load is changing so I will make the three different equations for these regions and then draw the SFD and BMD diagrams for the respective region this is the equation this is the example for your practice you can make it as your practice and this is the shear force and moment equation for this region only and you will get in this region the shear force and bending moment values only for this region and this is this v2 and m2 are the equations only for this region you will get these values these shear values by this equation these moment values by this equation and in this region you will get this m3 and v3 is the shear force equation and m3 is the moment equation and you will apply only these equations shear force equation for this region and bending moment equation for this region for drawing this region this is my, the example you can practice it at your own job and for any query you can consult with me you can comment or you can 